Ui, ui, West Trend, ui, ui. Ui, ui, Gauteng, ui, ui. Ui, ui, South Africa, ui, ui. Thank you so much. Let me take this opportunity to acknowledge our program director, also a member of the executive council responsible for sports, arts, culture, and recreation, Memorakani Musupse. I want to acknowledge the MEC responsible for community safety, those that know her, Bamiza Chovicho, MEC Faith Mazibugo. Let me take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank the number one citizen of Ekuruleni, the executive mayor, Council Angotwana, Sabongas Bond. I want to acknowledge the old councillor, members of parliament, Dadeteki, members of the provincial legislature, MMC present. But importantly, I want to acknowledge the leadership of the church, our traditional leaders, leaders of various political parties that are here, members of the LGBTQI+, who are also available, and various NGOs and organizations that are here that are gracing this occasion. I also want to acknowledge all our children, especially those that we are rendering services here, Sabong Abandonabetu, thank you so much for joining us. It was exactly 29 years ago that other people that were living with us in our country thought we were not human beings. It was 29 years ago that the color of our skin was determining whether we can get access to food, security, or medical help. It was 29 years ago that we were denied access to education institutions because we had the wrong color of the skin. It was 29 years ago that our parents could not be allowed to work anywhere they wanted to work because those works were reserved for other people. It was 29 years ago that those that were in charge of this country felt that we're not human beings and we don't deserve rights to be part of this country. On this particular day, thousands and thousands and thousands, if not millions of our people, did one thing and one thing only. They voted out that regime out of power and elected Nelson Mandela to be the president of this particular country. So as we celebrate this day, in particular in Ekuruleni, where the bones of Chris Sani and the bones of Oliver Tambo lies, we must do so acknowledging that that was not the end of our battle. We have so many battles that we still need to bridge, but we have so many things that we have achieved that we need to celebrate. Our elder Labo Koko Nabum Kulu, Bazak Kaze, Lagut Abany Mabatoli Pension, Yek Rant every month. In those days, they bona be by Tola once in two months, but today they are getting it every month like any other person in our country. We still have many things that we don't have, but we must acknowledge that our children, the way they are and the way they are present today, no one can stop them from going to any school of their choice because we live in a new democratic South Africa. They may deny, but it's a fact, our young people who were denied right to access any university, Today, as we celebrate our freedom, they don't only have an access to the university, but the democratic government is paying their school uniform, it's paying their university fees, it's paying for their books, and it's also paying for their food while they're staying in their universities. So as we celebrate this day, 
we also have to be frank and be honest with ourselves. We are going through difficulties that need us to change them. As we celebrate this day, we spend more time in darkness because we don't have electricity. As we celebrate this day, we spend more time jumping sewer because we are not fixing the challenges of sewer in our communities. As we spend this day, we have so many people that are making life difficult that every night when you go to bed, you don't know whether you will wake up because there are people that have guns and there are people that declare themselves as criminals and they do as they wish in our communities. As we celebrate this day, the cost of living is too high. There are people that cannot afford even to buy bread or at least to buy maize meal so that they can survive. We can live in those conditions, but it's through this democratic government that we can in a position to eliminate those challenges and make things easier and better for our people. We want to declare, especially on this eve of this important day, that the days of criminals in Gauteng are coming to an end. On the 1st of May, on the 1st of May, we are releasing 6,000 young people that we have recruited in our communities. We are giving them almost 400 cars. These young people, every day, every night, every, whether it's a weekend, it's a holiday, they will patrol all our wards in the township and chase away criminals in our country. We are releasing these 6,000 young people to reclaim all our townships so that our young, beautiful women, our handsome men can again walk at night freely in all our townships in Houghton. We are releasing these young people to send a strong message to Lamatota, Anafu, Nukhala, Nabo Mama, that the days of GBV in all our townships is coming to an end from the 1st of May so that our children can be saved. We are releasing these young people, good people. Young people, good people, good people. La Malama Lava Ben Saba Abangan Abandwana Benu because Ban Shogu Meza, those days are over. In your own world, you will have a car that will patrol and you will have a car that will be with you. Sit Abandwana Bete Kuli. In all our schools, whether you are in Katum, whether you are in Fort Lawrence, whether you are in Chogoza, at the entrance of each and every school, there will be a patrol car guarding our children in our schools, and no one will take advantage of our children. We are reclaiming what belongs to us. We are reclaiming peace. We are chasing away bullies in our schools, and we are chasing away criminals in our communities so that we can enjoy our freedom. But we are also sending a very strong message. All those that were selling in Tsango, in Yaupen, drugs to our children in all our township, your time is over. We will get you and remove you in our communities. We now have 6,000 young people that will look for the houses of those that are selling drugs to our children. We now have 6,000 young people that will sniff out those that are destroying our young people with drugs and now in our communities. But we are also making a very important call to our communities. All the children that are going through difficulties of Nyaupe, drugs, the Houting government, 
bring those children to us. We are taking them to rehabilitation for three full months free of charge. We are going to train them. When they come back, they will have skills of putting solar panels and those that are fit and agile will recruit them to join the police force so that they can be better people in society at the same time. Basal Beach, we have to be frank and honest that Inya Upez destroyed our children. There is no family here that can claim is not a victim of Inya Upez. We can't fold our arms and say we are defeated by Inya Upez. I stand in front of you that together in this province we will defeat Nyaupe and change our children to be better people in society and have a better life. So bring those children to us. We say after rehabilitating them, if they want to go back to university, this government will pay for their university fees free of charge so that they can have a skill and survive at any This government is prepared to take all Nyaupe victims, clean them, make them look beautiful and handsome, and bring them back to society to reclaim their lives and live with us. We are also proud at this government that we want this freedom to have a meaning to all of you. We have learned from our mistakes. We are rectifying our mistakes. We are rectifying one important thing that we really believe society must know now. This government committed to build RGP houses but those RTP houses were taken by wrong people and people who qualified for those houses didn't get them those particular houses. We are changing that now. From now on in this province that I have the honor to lead, those that need houses, when you apply for a house, we are going to take your fingerprints when we give you a house as suddenly as is here we fool on your fingerprints man and fool i say yako you must leave it we are tired of people hijacking people's houses but we are also saying to young people not everyone needs an RTP house. In Gauteng, we are saying young people, as we celebrate Freedom Day, we have bought land as government. In that particular land, Sisofaga Manzi, Sifagi Mkwato, Sifagi Electricity, Sifagi Suwa, when as a young person you take that site and build your own house and finish that house the way you want to. That's the future that we are giving to young people. So that now Mauto Mumuntu, Umpege Kala, which no man and come and I tell you, Tina Nan, Mako Mito As we celebrate this day, we are urging our members in Parliament that the struggle is not over. We can't have so many people who are unemployed, and we can't have so many people Mati anyege baktate because of our medical aid. We are urging you, members of Parliament. You must go to Cape Town and pass that law, the National Health Insurance Bill must be converted from a bill to an act. 
It is in Kazele Bazal Bay to go to what is this National Health Insurance Bill? The National Health Insurance Bill, Imina Guti, Maukula. You can go to any hospital of your choice without being asked whether you've got a medical aid or you don't have a medical aid. We are requesting members of parliament to go and pass that bill. Kapanga Uyalapa, the Alberton Private Hospital, Maungena Lapa, Babuza Guti. Ufunani, Ut National Health Insurance will pay for my medical bills across all our hospitals. So as we celebrate this day, we must be committed to pass that bill. As we celebrate this day, it must never, never happen that when you go to our clinics, you are told that our clinics don't have medication. As we pass this bill, those that are working, especially those that are working in our clinics, they must start to treat our human beings and our people with care and love. So that clinics must be the centers of assisting our people rather than humiliating our people. To our students, as we celebrate this Freedom Day, this government is committed to ensure that all our schools in Gauteng, you will get a free Wi-Fi so that you can study free in your own community. We have committed to change your classrooms so that your classrooms can be proper learning classrooms for all of you. To those that want to dispute that the 27th of April ushered a new life, we say we are better off now than we were 29 years ago. And those that didn't celebrate our Freedom Day in the first years, we understand why they are angry now. We have challenges, but this government is capable and fit to resolve those challenges. And we are proud that the appeals court in Bluefontaine have sent a strong message to racists that the previous apartheid flag must never be flown again in our country. That we've got only one flag and one beautiful flag that is flying high and representing all of us in this country. As we celebrate this day, I've issued an instruction to the MEC responsible for sports that this freedom was born in Eguruleni when they negotiated for Kodesa here in our casino here. That place must be reclaimed so that our children must visit that place to know where freedom was born in our province. It's a very important place that must be defended. We are also sending a very strong message to all those that say that's the end of freedom. As long as all of us are still alive, this freedom will never die. As long as all of us are still alive, this freedom will be passed from one generation to another generation. As long as we are still alive, apartheid will never, never, never come back in our world. Thank you so much and thank for your time. Truly appreciate it. Thank you.